All right, uh, welcome to part five of building our um, React Redux um, book search functionality here. Um, in this, this video, we're just gonna be building out the component for our app. So now we need to import those props and actions from the search container, which were um, binding or importing from in here and I'm going to be putting the code into Bitbucket so if you don't know what all this does then it's going to be there okay let's let's go ahead and start so let's go ahead and import react as always and let's go ahead and destructure um, the prop types from react I'm going to import our CSS. I'm using SAS. And we're going to import the class names library. <clears throat> From class names. And let's go ahead and set up our shell. Search. This um, this component is just taking in the props. We're going to use the arrow function. We're going to return, which is equivalent to the render function. Okay. And let's go ahead and get our um, our, uh, our prop type. So we're going to be validating. Uh, all of our props. So this is a function. Um, our other props were um, books, which I'm just going to make it a wild card, and then I'm going to go query prop types dot string. Remember, we are um, what's this thing complaining about? Uh, we are um, importing these props from here in Git books. We're importing all three of these guys into our component. And remember, we set all this stuff up earlier, the reducers for these props earlier. All right. Next, let's go ahead and destructure the props. So let's get books and books and query props okay the next thing we need to do is um, you know what let's go ahead and check this out in the, uh, the view so make sure there's no errors Looks like we got an error of some type. Oh, you know what? Um, wait, wait one sec. Let's see what the error is. Oh, I know why. We need to expose this guy. So, export default search. Alright, we should see. Hello world. There it is. Alright, um... Now, obviously, we don't want to output hello world. Oh, let me go back a sec. Um, the React, this is the React um, dev tools that I showed earlier. 
Um, it's very useful. I highly recommend using it if you're a React developer. So you see our Git books. You see our, our props are here and in our books. And what you saw earlier, the Redux, this is our state tree. And I'll be showing you more of that a little bit later. Alright, let's get back to the code. Um, what we need to do next is, I'm going to go ahead, I'm using Twitter Bootstrap, so I'm going to go ahead and, at least for this portion of the video, just create the um, the input box. And, um, yeah, we're going to create the input box, and, and I'll create the shell, the favorites area. So I actually already um, did all the CSS as I mentioned before for this. So we're gonna go class classes dot wrapper, and again I'm using Twitter Bootstrap. So section there is a Twitter there is a um, React Bootstrap package out there, and I actually use that at my job, and it's very good. I'm um, just not using it here. You're welcome to use it. You don't have to use Bootstrap, you don't have to use any of these packages or these front end libraries. It's totally optional. We're going to use JSX class name, which is equivalent to class. And here we're just going to be, um, I'm going to create a, a um, column. Column, and this is just going to hold our uh, our title, which is going to be float search API. All right, and then let's go ahead and create another row. And we're going to create um, two columns here. So one's going to be four. So MD4, and the other one's going to be eight. So what's going to go in? F what's going to go in four? Four is going to be our future favorites books list, unless I decide to move it. Um, the placeholder for right now and then what's going to go on eight the input box so we're going to go ahead and create uh, a form group and we're going to use we're going to set up our input box here so set the type to text and the class name to uh, form control ID of search and a placeholder of let's just say search for a book and we're going to go ahead and uh, close this guy for right now later on we need to attach a value and you know and change actually you know what let's go ahead and attack on that on change event right now but we're not going to um, do anything with the redux we're not going to bind it to the git books function yet destructure the target and let's just console.log that value so target.value alright and then later on, we're going to be we're going to iterate through the books, and those books are going to be displayed here. Okay. And I'm going to stop it right there. Let's take a look at see what we got. Here we go. And I'm going to show you in the um, console. 
that on change event working so you see it's working so on change is working now we're prepared to pump the uh, the query into our get books function which we created here and I'll do all this stuff right here okay so that is it for this uh, video here in the next video we're gonna grab the books here iterate through all the books and then display the uh, books down here so it won't be the static stuff right here it'll be a dynamic it'll be a um a, a, a collection of books so all right stay tuned for the next video